And obviously, um, this goes beyond just Buddhism. It can be, you know, one of those um, uh, very public health or public um, uh, decency and all that stuff, you know, like morality and virtues, general decency. All these things can be uh, talk, uh, propagated. The more the better, the merry, you know. Talk about moderation, uh, environment. We're talking about more modern things like environmental uh, conscious uh, or being uh, being more how to say a wholesome mind, uh, whole minded, not just focus on profits. Uh, think about ecologies. All these are very good because they're protecting our um, environment, and our heart. But most importantly, is the heart because without a, a clean, um, purified heart, everything we do will be tainted. No matter how pure the water is when it goes into the cup full of mud it will always be mudded so that's why we need to reform and we need to learn how to accumulate merits so other than dharmas we can talk about you know being love uh, being loving because uh, we didn't talk to in too much in terms of what good can we do we talk about what is good what is not good so i'll spare a bit of time just to talk about this um, being a loving heart so in our case, we can say vegetarianism in the sense it's coming out of loving heart. Uh, a lot of people ask me about uh, why you you know be a vegetarian and why do you you know push? Because uh, I never I'm never a person who sit there and say I'm vegetarian. I only do that when I eat and I ask for diet. And a lot of people are curious and ask why, and then I just say because I don't want to kill. That's how simple it is. Um, people might do it for the reason of health and all that. But this is also a, a, a way to show that you are you are not involving in the killing is, you know, adopting a diet that does not involve it. And uh, everyone has a different level of acceptance to this. Some people just can't because of cultures or religious or it's part of their identity and stuff. Uh, Master Ying Guang do always advise people to gradually adopt this because it's not a matter of health only. It's Health is small. Because we all will pass away, and no matter how good your health, you still pass away after one hundred years old. It's the thing that waits awaits you after that, that karma debt that you have to pay. We're talking about cause and effect here, and I cannot shy away from this topic. Um, this, the, why is it the merit? Because if it's not merit, it's fault. Definitely, there's no. There is in the middle. We call it Chinese called wu ji ye, but this is definitely not in the middle. It's either you have a merit or you have a fault, because um. We are in a society where everyone is um, properly, you know, I mean, in, at least in this part of the world, and we have supplies, agricultural society, we have uh, foods, we don't need to do that e e eating and killing. Uh, We're not hunting. So if you can adopt that, uh, it's good for karma and it's good for your heart. But in a more broader sense, beyond just diet, so Ai Jing Chun Xing, it means that you need to have, um, how to say, leave a little bit of space for other people. Be considerate. Um, like when you have uh, put yourself in the other people's shoes, uh, as in maybe when you in the late night, if you live in an apartment, don't smoke on the balcony, which is what happened. And don't speak loudly on the phone. That's also a little bit of um, empathy in there. Empathy comes out from compassion, which is a loving heart, the basis of all religions and all creeds and brotherhoods. Without loving heart, there's no family, there's no friendships, there's no country, nothing. Love for your nation, love for your people. That's why you have a nation, you have a community. So always have that loving heart. Do not get, um, do not get numb by the technologies, desires, or that. We in Chinese call sheng se quan ma, or that um, impulses, or that uh, sensory um, indulgence. Do not get blinded by that. Uh, keep that pure heart in there. Also, we talk about giving. To do good, you need to start give. That's why in uh, Bodhisattva's um, six paramitas, one of them is um, the first step is the giving paramitas. Uh, you get started by giving away what you have, what you um, beyond what you need. Basically, your basic food, your basic shelter, your basic warmth, um, bill, and all that necessity was covered. 
and what beyond that you need to we all start learning to give and it's common in all religion in all communities because that is the first step of how one um how to say uh, accumulate merits they don't do it for the sake of merit they do it and got married naturally because of that um as you can see a lot of wealthy countries they are usually have a habit of gift and that's why they are they are wealthy there's a reason behind it they are not wealthy for the sake of wealth they don't just got it from nowhere nothing happens without a reason the reason why you're born in a wealthy country the reason why this country is wealthy is because they give so marriage are very important it preserves your it makes your life less miserable it makes your life better happier